Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. For his entire life, he has trained to accomplish a single mission, to find a warrior who can wield the sacred weapon and save humanity from the ruthless rule of the Yaksa clan. Today we will recap the story of the 2018 movie, The Legend of Muay Thai, Nine Satra. In the kingdom of Ramthep, the witch Ganisa leads the execution of a blind prophet, who prophesied that a savior blessed with strength and virtue, born under the Lion Star, will free Ramthep from the dark rule of Dahayaksa. According to the prophet, this savior will be a great master of Muay Thai and will use Nine Satra, the legendary weapon, to free humans from the hands of the dreaded Yaksa clan. As soon as he finishes his prophecy, the old man is destroyed by Dahayaksa, the most ruthless warrior mankind has ever seen. To prevent the prophecy from coming true, Dahayaksa orders all Muay Thai schools to be eradicated and captures all children born under the Lion Star. Eventually, the tyrant sends his troops to search for Nine Satra in every village in the kingdom. However, General Pan, a loyal commander of the troops of the Kingdom of Ramthep, manages to recover the sacred weapon and now must escape from the army that is after him. Rung and his other companions are waiting on the other side of the rope bridge when they are surprised by the arrival of new enemies. Before the general can cross, a Yaksa warrior appears and they duel to decide who will get Nine Satra. After a few seconds of fighting, the black hunter manages to get his hands on the weapon, and the boy that Pan was carrying strapped in his clothes almost falls into the sea. After retrieving the boy, the general throws his sword at the masked enemy and takes Nine Satra back. The warrior fights back and Pan is seriously wounded. Just as he is about to be killed, a tornado approaches and knocks down the bridge. At this point, the general faints and is carried away by the tornado, together with his son. Days later, they are found by a mute old man, known to be the greatest Muay Thai master of all time, on the shores of the ocean. The man then takes them to his home and tends to their injuries. A few years later, Ott becomes a skilled teenager and uses all his agility to collect rare herbs that grow stuck to the rocks of a chasm. After doing his work, the young man sits on a small branch to play his flute while contemplating the sunrise. There, he decides to take a nap and wakes up a few hours later. Then the boy takes his surfboard and jumps into the sea, being carried by the wind until he reaches his home, the island of Ban Nokan. Upon arriving in the village, Ott is surprised by Muzu, who is always testing his abilities. After evading the attack using his keen senses, Ott ends up being tricked and the boy manages to hit him. The boy runs after Muzu, who is captured by the old man. Ott then accompanies his master back home. When he arrives at Pan's tent, the young man is told off for being late for his training and promises that he will train as soon as he has finished preparing his father's medicine, using the medicinal herbs he has collected. For all these years, the general concentrated his energies on contacting his people, but never got any response. Hours later, as promised, Ott goes to train his Muay Thai. But that day his master decides to punish him for being late and makes the training difficult, causing the boy to be defeated by the pendulums in a few minutes. In the short time he remains passed out, Ott has a frightening vision in which his people are being massacred. When he wakes up, Pan sits down next to him and decides it is time to tell him the whole truth. The general tells him that both he and Ott came from the kingdom of Ramthep and are part of the small group that managed to escape when the city collapsed. After that, by fate or chance, they were saved by the best Muay Thai master and the old man accepted Ott as his apprentice, although he vowed never to teach his fighting techniques again. Pan takes the boy to a secret hiding place and reveals his greatest secret. Since the day he fled Ramthep, the general has kept nine Satra hidden, hoping that one day he will deliver the sacred weapon to the savior mentioned in the prophecy. Pan reveals that after retrieving nine Satra from Dahayax's palace, he escaped through a secret passage to Gong village, where he met Ott's real parents. They gave their lives to ensure that the general could escape with the boy. In return, Pan swore that he would care for the boy as if he were his own son. After the escape, the man got really injured, and since then half of his body has been paralyzed. Pan has used what little magic he still possesses to try to contact those who still have the desire to dethrone Dahayaksa, but has failed in all his attempts. Therefore, the general hopes that Ott can take Nine Satra to Ramthep's underground prison and deliver it to the prince, because Pan believes that he is the great hero of the prophecy. However, Ott still has a weak body and is totally incapable of accomplishing this mission. Upon hearing this, the young man decides not to waste another minute and devotes himself entirely to Muay Thai training for the next few years. His greatest desire is to become a source of pride for his father, and this genuine desire acts as fuel for the young man to train so intensely. At one point in the training, the elder takes Ott to a stone cave, where he teaches him his best and most powerful moves. 
Over the next few years, the young man must train his body and mind until he can master each one of them, and when that day comes, he will be ready to fulfill his mission. Over time, Ott gets tattoos all over his body, which follow his development as a fighter. To Pan's delight, the boy managed to become a great Muay Thai master much sooner than he imagined, becoming the source of the elder's greatest pride. After years of frustration, the general's patience was finally rewarded and he received an answer from one of the most loyal warriors who fought by his side. At Pan's request, the elder found Rung and takes the man to his general. Ott hears the stranger say that after they were blown away by the tornado, Dahayaksa and his troops stormed the camp and destroyed almost all the warriors of the kingdom of Ramthep. Rung and all those who managed to survive had been on the run for all these years. Luckily, the man returned to the camp and managed to find Pan's message. Finally, Rung asks where Nine Satra is and states that he wishes to take it to the men in his army. However, the general says that the warrior need not be in a hurry and informs him that he will wait for the rest of the troop to contact him. That night, while Ad and the elder are gazing at the moon, they observe Rung acting in hiding and go to confront him. At that moment, the man lets off a flare, in order to reveal his location to the troop of Yaxes. Immediately, the warriors invade the island and attack the residents. While the elder fights those monsters, he orders Ott to go protect his father, who is about to be eliminated. The young man uses everything he has learned in recent years to defeat that creature. However, no matter how many Yaxes he manages to take down, new ones will appear. Now, surrounded by the enemy army, Pan discovers that his loyal friend betrayed his people the night he disappeared and all his companions were killed. When he realizes that this is a losing battle, the general hands Satra over to Ott and orders him to flee. Looking back, the boy sees his master being defeated by a masked warrior, the same one who dueled his father when Ott was still a child. Being chased, the young man grabs his surfboard and jumps into the water. In this way, he manages to escape from the monsters while his entire island is engulfed in flames. When he reaches a safe place, the young man takes the nine satra and throws it into the sea, as he is furious to remember all that he has lost because of that weapon. However, minutes later, after shedding his tears, he decides to take the object back, because he needs to fulfill the mission his father has assigned him. Ott uses a knife to cut his hair and prepares for a new phase in his life. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of Ramthep, Rung is reprimanded for failing in his mission and Dahayaksa orders the Black Hunter to retrieve the Nine Satra. After swimming to the island of Hainan, Ott takes a break to eat and asks the locals for directions to the kingdom of Ramthep. However, no one on the island is willing to talk about it. While walking through the streets, Ott notices that he is being followed and soon realizes that his Satra has been stolen by a small red monkey. The young man then chases the animal everywhere, until the moment the creature is captured. He goes after the fugitives and gets onto a floating boat, where he spots a young girl trapped in a cage. Her fate is to be sold by the Yaxes as merchandise. When he finds the little monkey struggling against the man who tried to take him by force, the boy decides to interfere to save the little one. Ott and Asura exchange a few punches, and suddenly Vada attacks him. At that moment, the young man discovers that the animal is actually the monkey prince, and Asura, despite being a yaksa, is his friend. At that moment, other yaksas invade the hideout and the trio must unite to defeat them. During the battle, Asura is impressed by Ott's fighting style, as he believed that Muay Thai had ceased to exist a long time ago. New enemies arrive on the scene and Ott decides to abandon the floating ship. While hiding, he is seen by the prisoner, who announces where the boy is hiding. Ott climbs onto the top of the ship and the woman takes advantage of the distraction to escape from her cage. The battle continues and the trio joins forces to defeat dozens of Yaxes. Although they don't know each other yet, joining forces is the only chance they have to escape that ship alive. When they least expect it, the prisoner appears in, after tying her hair, calls a hawk to deliver her clothes. Then a pirate ship appears in the clouds and the Yaxes discover that that woman is the famous Captain Shaolan, who is there to steal the valuable items on the ship. She orders her men to free the remaining prisoners and uses her gun to eliminate her opponents. However, everything changes when a monstrous Yaxa manages to break free from its prison and attacks all who come in its way, including those of its own kind. To escape, the trio decides to jump on the pirate ship, and Ott spots Shaolan in trouble. So the young man returns to save her and confronts the giant. What he did not imagine was that his punches and kicks would not be able to do any damage to this creature. Instead, Ott is captured and thrown away, but when he sees the woman in danger, he gets up and goes on the attack again. Just then, the Nine Satra begins to glow and flies directly into the fist of the boy, who uses the legendary weapon to defeat the enemy and save Shaolan. After the battle, the weapon returns to its original form and Ott passes out. He and the captain are then rescued by the air pirates. 
Hours later, when he wakes up, the young man is caged together with Vada and Asura. The monkey prince asks about the sacred weapon, and Asura tells him that according to the prophecy, the Muay Thai master who possesses the nine virtues, skill, courage, integrity, strength, dedication, compassion, focus, discipline, and faith, will unleash the full power of the nine satras and save the people of Ramthep from darkness. Ot then asks how Asura knows all that and why he betrayed his people. The Yaksa reveals that he was once Dehyaks's right-hand man for a long time, until the day he was exiled and forced to leave his clan, simply because he fell in love with a human. Since then, Asura plans to return to Ramthep, as he has vowed to save his beloved, who is still being held captive in the castle. During his journey, he meets Vada. The little fellow wishes to take revenge on Dehyaksa for destroying the Monkey Kingdom. So, thanks to this common interest, the two came together. Hours later, Shaolan and her guards appear. The woman was hiding and overheard the whole conversation. After learning the history of each of them, she hands Nine Satra to Ot and states that the trio is on their way to Ramthep to help her rescue her brother, who is imprisoned there. Meanwhile, in the castle, Ganisa tries to find out which of those prisoners is the crown prince of the throne of Ramthep. In five moons, the lion star will align in the sky again. On that day, she plans to sacrifice the prince and use the power of prophecy to ensure Dehyaks's immortality. However, the king of the Yaxas does not believe in this prophecy and claims that no human can ever defeat him. Dehyaxa stands before the prisoners and asks which of them is the prince of Ramthep. If no one speaks up, they will all be eliminated. Upon hearing this, the real prince stands up, but is followed by his subjects, who claim to be the crown prince in an attempt to confuse the enemy. That night, while watching the moon, Ot hears Shaolan playing a stringed instrument and uses his flute to accompany the melody. At that moment, the black hunter appears flying on his dragon and orders the animal to use his claws to puncture the balloon that keeps the ship in the air. While the pirates are preparing their emergency wings, enemy ships appear and start bombarding them. Ot duels the hunter while Asura tries to contain the dragon. He calls for Vada's help, but the monkey is still asleep and has not even noticed the invasion. In order to avoid the attack, the captain steers the ship toward the wicked precipice, so that they can get rid of the enemy ships. Just then, the black hunter falls off the ship, but is saved by his dragon, who dives after him. Odd also slips out, but manages to grab onto a rope and return to the ship. Shaolan tries to dodge the obstacles in the way, but her airship ends up crashing when pulled by the dragon. Few crew members manage to survive the crash. However, Ott manages to recover the sacred weapon. Suddenly, he is surprised by the attack of the black hunter, who pierces the boy's chest with his claws. The hunter tells that long before those lands were inhabited by humans, they belonged to the Yaxas, until the day their kind was attacked and all were sold as animals. Then mankind built their houses in that place and named it Ramthep. Since then, a war has been raging between humans and Yaxas. This being the case, the black hunter reveals that he plans to take revenge against all of humanity, and immediately Ott manages to activate the Satra. This serves to further increase the fury of the hunter, who attacks the boy with all his might. Ott uses his powers to defend himself from the attacks, but the truth is that he is at a disadvantage because he has never faced such a powerful enemy before. The young man remembers what happened on Ban Nokean Island and thinks of all the people he loved who were killed at the hands of the Yaxis. This gives him more strength to face the enemy and finally he manages to defeat him. Just as he was about to deliver the final blow to the hunter, the Satra breaks free from his body and Ott realizes the grave mistake he was about to make. So he decides to spare the life of his enemy in order to end this cycle of hatred and revenge. The young man helps the hunter to climb on his dragon and advises him to start his life anew. Before leaving, Yaksa informs us that in three nights, when the stars align, all humans born under the Lion Star will be sacrificed to the ancient gods. This is a great reason for them to hurry even more to get to the palace. While the surviving pirates repair the ship, Shaolan accompanies the trio toward the kingdom of Ramthep. First, the small group will have to reach the village of Gong, where Ot was born. According to the late General Pan, in Gong there is a passage that leads straight to the center of Ramthep. The way there is dangerous, they will have to hide from Yax's warriors in cross mountains to reach their destination. After several hours of walking, Ot and his companions find the underground passage. When they reach the village, they take out the guards and pose as prisoners to infiltrate the castle. Coincidentally, Rung gets into the same elevator they are in. After a few minutes, the group finally arrives in the room where the sacrifice of the prince is being performed and Rung recognizes Ott because of his tattoos. When she notices the commotion forming, Ganisa orders the guards to capture the prisoners. Shaolan and the others provide cover so that Ott can save the prince of Ramthep and allow him to use nine Satra to defeat all enemies at once. 
However, after getting his hands on the legendary weapon, the creature reveals its true face and they discover that they have fallen into a trap. At that instant, all the so-called prisoners are released from their enchantment and transform into Yaxa's warriors. Upon encountering Dahyaxa, Vada cannot contain his fury and attacks him with all his might. However, even all his power is not enough to hurt the leader of that demonic clan. Seeing his friend in trouble, Asura rushes to his aid, but is unable to attack his brother. When they discover this dark secret, his companions feel betrayed by him and are taken to the execution room, where Nine Satra is being destroyed by flames. Ganisa reports that the Prince of Ramthep and his people will be eliminated at dawn and Shaolan goes into despair. Asura arrives shortly afterwards and his brother says that he will give him one more chance to return to his people. However, to do this, Asura will need to kill Bunga, the only woman he has ever loved in his entire life. Dahyaksa orders him to make a decision and choose between saving Bunga or his friends. So Asura takes a sword to strike his companions, but soon comes to the conclusion that he is not able to do this. Since his brother failed to make a choice, Dahyaksa decides to eliminate Bunga, who uses her last seconds of life to say goodbye to her beloved. After lamenting the death of his wife, Asura challenges Dahyaksa to a duel. Within minutes, the warrior is on the ground, about to be torn apart, and Ott decides to make one last attempt to save him. He remembers that in order to use the powers of Nine Satra, one of the virtues the warrior must have is faith. So the boy gets up and walks toward the fire. As he is approaching his goal, Dahyaksa tries to interfere, but is attacked by the Black Hunter, his most powerful warrior. The man frees Ott from his chains and goes after his former leader. When asked about the reason for the betrayal, Yaxa states that he is only paying a debt. Meanwhile, Ott manages to retrieve the Satra and uses the weapon to attack the tyrant. With a single blow, Dahyaksa believes he has eliminated his opponent, but is surprised when the fragments of the stone begin to come together again and fuse with the boy's body. When Ott stands up, his tattoos are illuminated and he prepares to fulfill his mission, becoming the great savior foretold in the prophecy. The young man has the opportunity to use his Muay Thai to duel evil, but Dahyaksa refuses to accept defeat. The demonic leader unleashes his most destructive power to counterattack. As he pursues his opponent, Hellfire sweeps through the entire castle and strikes the demented people who have dedicated their lives to Dahyaksa. After the attack, the loyal witch Ganisa meets her end. Although those are his enemies, Ott is furious to see a leader take his servants' lives so coldly and attacks him with all his power. The boy understands that Dahyaksa is the evil that needs to be purged from those lands and this makes him even stronger. After kicking him out of the castle, Ott slowly walks towards him and sees his opponent transforming into an evil creature right in front of him. Determined to save the people of that island, the boy manages to access the power of each of the nine Satras and finishes his transformation. He uses his hyperspeed to perform each of the moves he learned from the Elder while on Ban Nokean Island. In this way, Ott is able to scale the giant's body until he reaches its head, where he strikes the final blow. Such power can be seen by people from all the villages around the island. After the battle, his companions go to celebrate the victory alongside Ott, and finally the kingdom of Ramthep has peace after many years sunk in despair. That same day, Dahyaksa was captured and imprisoned for all eternity, and Asura became the new leader of the Yaxas, bringing peace between his clan and humanity. As for Shaolan, she managed to rescue her brother from the palace and has not been seen since. Vada returned to the Monkey Kingdom and, with Asura's help, managed to rebuild it. Eventually, Ott continued to serve the kingdom of Ramthep as a teacher at the Muay Thai Academy and commander of the Royal Army. After years of dedicated service, the boy returned to Ban Nokean Island to enjoy a life of peace and tranquility. One day, while playing his flute in front of a beautiful sunset, he is surprised by Shaolan who, after years, shows up on her pirate ship to pay her old friend a visit. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, Please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.